Working with slides for in-person content and live-streamed or IMEG content doesn't have to be time-consuming or difficult. We're going to look at how you can easily and automatically create lower thirds from your full-screen slides. To do this, we're going to work with themes and audience looks. Now, themes allow you to set the formatting of your slides, and with audience looks, you can use a theme to automatically reformat any text on your slides to any theme. So let's see how this works. To get started, let's go to theme in the main toolbar and we're going to add a new theme. And for this theme, we're going to call this lower thirds and we'll save that. And then it's going to bring us into our theme editor. Here you can start creating different themes and different looks for your slides. So we have the default text box here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down to the bottom of the screen and then I'm going to reformat this so it can hold about three lines of text and looks a little better for lower thirds for music. So I'm going to go over to my text properties and I'm going to set the size of this maybe up to 50 points. Point, and we could set this to be uh, bold and maybe we could do all caps. And anytime I do all caps, I like to add a little bit of character spacing so it's a little easier to read. So I'm going to click the gear icon, maybe set about five uh, points of character spacing there. And that looks pretty good. And then we can see how many lines of text can fit here. So we could just say line one, line two, line three. And you can see that we can easily fit three lines of text and we can make that a little smaller and move it down if we want to. Now, the text that's inside of this box doesn't really matter because when and this theme gets applied to a slide, it's just going to use the text on the slide and apply this look to it. The same will happen with our alternate looks. And so the last thing that we need to do is actually name what this theme slide is called. So I'm just going to select, uh, click on the outside area here, and then this will change my sidebar here so I can name this theme slide to lower music. And that way we know what this theme slide is. Next, we can go into looks to apply this theme in a look. So we're going to go to screens and to edit looks. And here you can see all of our different audience screens and all of the layers on the screens. But the main layer that we're focused on right now is the presentation slide layer where we can set a alternate theme. Now I'm going to create a preset for this that I'm going to call music so that anytime we're doing music, we can use this look. And for this music preset, I'm going to go on my live stream screen and for the presentation slide layer here, I can choose an alternate theme and I'm going to choose my lower thirds, lower music. And then the other thing that I want to do is disable the media layer because on my live stream screen, I only want to see the video input and my slide text. I don't want to see any media backgrounds that I would show on my main output. So now we can close this out and go back to our show view and we can see this in action. So here I have a motion background that I downloaded from pro content and then you can see our text over top of it. So our slides look exactly the way we want. But if I switch over from my main output to my live stream screen, you'll see that it looks exactly the same. But if I click over here on Mr. Mustache, he uh, controls all of our audience looks and allows us to see which audience look is currently active. I can switch this to music. And when I do that, you're going to see that it switched our audience look and it's now applying that theme to our slides in real time. So when I click on a slide, it's going to show me that text. And if I go back to my main output, we still have our full screen text and our motion background. So you can see how that applies it to those slides in real time using audience looks. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you start using alternate themes is how many text boxes you have. If you have more than one text box on your slide, you're going to need more text boxes in your theme to correspond to those. Here's an example of how that works. So here you can see I have some teaching notes that I created with a theme. And so in this theme, so if we go to encounters theme here, you'll see my theme has a main text box and it has a reference text box. So we can click on edit and see how that theme was built. So here we have our main text box that's just called text. And then we have our reference text box right here. This also is having a, a media action applied to it. So it's automatically applying that media action over 
over here in these settings. Now let's make a lower third version. So I'm just gonna right click on this and say duplicate. And for this one, we're gonna name this encounters lower. So encounters lower, and then let's remove this media action because we don't need that on that screen. And then we can start adjusting our text boxes. So I'm gonna change this from maybe 80 point font to maybe 50 point font and change our reference from 50 down to 40. And then I do actually want some media behind my text, but I wanna add that via the slide layer so that it can be shown on our live stream screen, even though we have the media layer disabled. And so we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some media and I'm gonna just scroll down here and you'll see I have this encounters lower PNG that I created. I'm gonna hit open and that'll bring that in. And it's placed it at the top of our layer stack. Let's just move it down so it's below all of the other text boxes. Then I can take my main text box here and I can just kind of move this down and have it fill up the bottom area here that we're using. I'm gonna take my reference text box and we're gonna just move this up above. And so now we have our main text and we have our reference above. And I think that looks really nice for a live stream screen. Now, the most important thing to make sure that your text goes in the correct text boxes is to make sure your text boxes are named the same thing. So my main text box is just called text. And then my reference is called reference. And the same is happening on our full screen slide here where we have a text text box and a reference text box. So now let's go create a audience look to use for our teaching. So we're gonna go back to screens and go to edit looks. We'll add another uh, preset here and we'll call this one teaching. And we'll do the same thing we did earlier where we're gonna disable the media layer. And then for the slide layer on our live stream screen, we're gonna go in and we're gonna find encounters and we're gonna choose the, this encounters lower theme slide. And let's just make this live, which will change our audience look right here and we can see what this looks like. So now when I click on this on our main output, it looks exactly the way we want it to. And on our live stream screen, we get our nice lower third. And when I click on one with the reference, our reference shows up right here. Now, the one thing that you'll see is when I click on this full screen graphic, even though there's no text on the slide, it's still showing that media background, but we can make our theme a little bit smarter and get rid of that automatically. So I'm gonna go back to more, and then I'm gonna go to the theme editor to bring me back to the theme editor. I'm gonna select my lower third one, and I'm gonna grab my graphic here. And then under the shape properties, you'll see an option for visibility. For the visibility of this, I'm gonna say slide object of text has text. So this piece of media, this PNG, will only show if this text box here has text in it. If it does not have text, that media background will not show. So now we can see how this looks. So when I show this, you'll see we get our background and our text. And when I click on this slide, since there's no text in any of the text boxes, nothing shows. And when I click on this one with the reference, we get all of it. Alternate themes and looks can transform your presentations by making your text look perfect on any output. Now you can find more training and tutorials on our YouTube channel or at renewedvision.com.